Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are looking at part one of la musique. This is going to be in several parts, uh, but we're going to cover a variety of questions about music. And the first question we have is, qu'est-ce que tu aimes comme musique? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes comme musique? Which is, what kind of music do you like? So you could say, qu'est-ce que tu aimes comme? And any noun after, and it's what kind of noun do you like? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes comme musique? What do you what kind of music do you like? And we could start with a simple opinion verb like j'adore or j'aime beaucoup or j'aime bien. Or if we go to negatives, je n'aime pas trop. You could be a bit roundabout in your answer and start with negatives and then go to positives. Je n'aime pas du tout. Je n'aime pas du tout. Je déteste. Or another nice one for negatives, je ne supporte pas. Je ne supporte and then you have the noun for your music genre. So, for example, j'adore le reggae. J'aime beaucoup le jazz. J'aime bien le rock. Je n'aime pas trop le rap. Je n'aime pas du tout le R&B. Je déteste le hip-hop. So we ignore the H, the hip-hop. Je déteste la pop. Je ne supporte pas la soul. J'adore la musique classique. And once we've said that, we can have a connective and justify our opinion. Parce que, or we could have car, but I'm stuck to parce que here. Ça, for it, so because it. So now here we have four rows. One row here. I'm probably, I'm probably going to change colors to help you visualize as well. So it's a bit, it's quite critical here that you use the right uh, pair. So if you start with mudon, then you have to use something like this, envie de, and an infinitive. So, ça me donne envie de danser. It, it's literally, it, it gives me the desire to sing uh, or dance. I've swapped them around. I've made a mistake. Why, how, I don't know how nobody noticed it. We've been using this in class and everything. Never mind. Uh, so, obviously, danser is to dance and chanter is to sing. Sorry about that. Where was I then? Ça me donne envie de danser. Is literally, it gives me the desire to dance. But often in English, you would say, it makes me want to dance. Or, ça me donne envie de chanter, it makes me want to sing. You could also, oh, my food's almost ready. You could also have a time phrase. So, toujours, always, or tout le temps, all the time, or souvent, often. So, ça me donne souvent envie de danser, it often makes me want to dance. If you use, ça me rend, I did say I was going to change color. I'm going to try and be swift with all that, so my food is on the burn. Ça me rend, it makes me, and we use an adjective afterwards. So, ça me rend triste, it makes me sad. Ça me rend heureux, it makes me happy, masculine. Or, ça me rend heureuse, it makes me happy, feminine. Ça me rend heureuse, it makes me happy. Ça me rend toujours heureuse, it always makes me happy. Uh, another variation you could use uh, is with me. Ça me met, so ça me met. It puts me literally, ça me met, come on mouse, de bonne humeur. So it puts me in a good mood, or ça me met, the mouse is still not happy, de mauvaise humeur. It puts me in a bad mood. Ça me met souvent de mauvaise humeur, it often puts me in a bad mood. So you might have to change your word order a bit when you translate it into English. And then the last option you can use is with ça me fait. Ça me fait, and then you can follow that up with du bien. Ça me fait du bien, it makes me feel good, or it does me good. Ça me fait du bien, it does me good. Ça me fait réfléchir, it makes me think. Ça me fait réfléchir. Okay, so that's your basic answer. And then you could continue, so I'll go back to my um, basic color. And we could have a connective, so en outre, furthermore, a bit posh, en outre. De plus, same a bit formal. And then we have more regular ones, en plus, and et aussi, which are more used in daily life uh, for French people, at least in my social class. Je trouve, I find, je trouve, I find, les paroles, the lyrics, les mélodies, or les thèmes abordés. So you need to remember in French, the TH is not going to sound like in English. It's just the th les thèmes abordés. And you can have a liaison here between the final S and the A of aborder, les thèmes abordés. You don't have to. Um, I think I do it probably 90% of the time when I'm speaking, uh, which means 10% of the time I don't, and it's just not very important. 
So then you'd have to have an agreement with your adjective. So les paroles is feminine and les mélodies is feminine. Perhaps I can do a little squiggle to show you that. Pinkish, I don't know if it shows up in pink, but um, those two here, they're feminine. So that means we'll have to use génial. Je trouve les paroles génial. I find the lyrics great. Je trouve les mélodies touchantes. I find the melodies touching. Uh, but if it's les thèmes abordés, then it's going to be the masculine form. So for example, genio, or you could have rythmé. Rythmé, again, we have a TH, but we say rythmé. Uh, probably that's going to be for the melodies. Les mélodies rythmées. Uh, or essentiel, essential, essentiel. And that's going to be it for part one of la musique which is what kind of music do you like? As usual, I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments if it is or if there's anything I could do differently or if you have any specific topics you'd like to see next. Um, I haven't so far put links to the actual Google Docs because they are on my school accounts, so I don't really want to make them public. But um, you could just screenshot, I guess, and then get them that way. Um, that is it for us. I'm better, I'd better go and check on my food. Uh, have a lovely rest of your morning, afternoon or evening and I will see you soon for another part. Bye!